hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome to my gang family on today's video we're gonna be doing something something we're gonna be doing i'm gonna be answering some questions that i ask people from my instagram i will put my handle here and yeah so on today's video we're gonna be talking about the pettiest reason you've ended a friendship or a relationship yep child so let's get to it let's get to it so the first one is um the first person was like they always wanted to dress and look like me so i'm guessing this is like a friendship type of thing like why would you want to look like your friend dog? like why would you want to be it's like she's in a competition with you which is something so unhealthy in like friendships or relationships like some people they're just like ugh, ugh. <laughs> anyway the next um answer was um unaligned teeth cha i get it i'm not gonna lie to you i get it <laughs> one of my cousins were like um she was like she doesn't like a person with a gap tooth and from that day every man that approaches me with a gap tooth is like hmm. Hmm. <laughs> i know that's petty but like it's now unattractive because somebody like somebody made me realize that it's not attractive so now i can see that mm -mm, as poopy lasses ah it's a no-go area and then the next person was like, he popped my pimple. Ma'am, that's petty. <laughs> that's petty. How would you end something because of somebody who just popped your pimple? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Doesn't make sense. Oh, by the way, guys, I wrote my things on my diary. In my diary because, like, I lost the phone I used to use for such things. So yeah, um, the following person was like, they kept being concerned about my weight. I would cut you off right away. Like the first attempt where you tell me that I'm fat, that I'm losing weight, ma'am, sir, I don't need such people in my life. Like, why would you be so concerned about somebody else's weight? Like, <laughs> why are you concerned about people's weight? like it's so so not nice like it's not nice especially because people have like insecurities you don't know if that person like really likes her uh his or her body and then now you're out here bashing him or her about her body what's that like do better your no ways mm -mm. guys like self-esteem is something so serious like and people don't take it serious at all especially on social media you would think you all that and then you get to social media mm, child people would actually realize or recognize something that you don't even look at yourself like guys there's parts of your body that you can't like you don't naga let me not see you can see but you don't naga you don't even see there's a problem there and then the next person is going to tell you that you have a problem like have you looked at yourself to like please eh don't come here with your please eh like i'm so sorry that had to happen to you like yo i'd be so hmm. especially now that i like i'm starting to love my body i was so insecure about my body in primary in high school because i've never had i have never been slender i don't remember one day where i was slender like hence right now i'm um, I'm loving my body each and every day like i love my body i'm sorry like if you see something wrong with me and my body go fix your mental health first <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> but please don't come at me like mm -mm, okay and then the next person was like um he breathes oxygen like me <laughs> oh my 
much but so why are you feeling the same oxygen as me as a man look for something else breathe something else carbon dioxide something <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding but like mm -mm, chill you petty mm, you are petty and i know who wrote this i know oh, no ways um the next person was like didn't like how he dresses yo 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 my worst nightmare i get it sis i get it like guys have you ever like been with someone and then you just have to stress every time you have to go on dates you're stressing about how he's gonna look like that's just trauma like that's trauma it's trauma like it should be in books of being traumatized it's trauma guys like i've been there since i've been there like it's it's not nice it's not nice especially like if you're dating the person like oh child like even telling them is another thing like i've been there and like i was like asking my friends i'm like dude like what can i do in such situation i've been yo guys i was i was in hell basically i was in hell and i couldn't tell him that dude please do this do that like um to guys i forget i'm a so geese i like i see a short pen i see the hem like does it make sense to you sir does it make sense but like guys like before you go out of the house just look at yourself ask yourself am i <laughs> no 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 yo guys that was my worst 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 nightmare i wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy child <laughs> So if you see this i'm sorry but like there was a point where i i actually like took him because my friends were like take him to like when you guys are at the mall just be like oh baby i think this would look good on you and i did that and he gradually like got used to it and then he changed day and day not that i wanted him to change who he is and how he does things but like brah ah <laughs> at home <laughs> and then the next one is wretched english accent ah, I get it <laughs> yo guys i let's not even talk about it <laughs> yo guys Eusham, it's the most yo like it's stressful man like it's really stressful because like <laughs> how are you gonna help our kids with their homework like uh, 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 no ways the next one is everything was about the boys the boys yo got 2022 Ah, uh, uh, if you are a man and you still prioritize your boys over your girl, do better, sir. Do better, like yo. As I say, but dala guys to be complaining about is in 2015. Parents are the boys, boys, the boys, the boys, the boys. Kid loza hal. Like say, but dala, please. The boys, the boys. Get your priorities right please eh? <laughs> like i'm not saying don't have time for your boys but like if it's our time dude dude come on uh, and why do you have so much time why do you have time for your boys why do you have so much time for your boys uh -uh. i think that you are busy please um he was way too loud. Yo, I can't be loud and be loud, bro. Like, uh, uh. 
easy <laughs> no uh the next one is he ghosted me when we had plans and i decided to ghost him forever sis that wasn't your man that wasn't your man Nef. that wasn't your man sis like there was no way in that that would ghost you and then come back like magabuya it means that his other hoes were not giving him like all that like they didn't reach his expectations or he girlfriend like girlfriend so you already know the answer that wasn't your man and i'm proud that you ghosted back because it doesn't deserve you at all um the next one is he didn't have a car so we would only see each other like twice a month with this one i feel like for me it would work because i hate meetups i hate meetups i hate meetups like please i need to miss you melanie like yes now i miss my man not you to you would see like singing for every day dog so go on every day this one would work for me but sis i understand we're different as people it didn't work for you and i get it but that's petty you <laughs> Um, the next one is um, he had ugly feet. Jaini <laughs> brew in Jaini. That was petty, petty, petty to the pettiest. Because <laughs> I literally don't look at people's feet, hey? I literally don't. I think that I know who wrote this because I have a friend who literally hates like ugly feet, ugly toes. Like she hates them. She hates ugly feet, ugly toes. Yeah, she doesn't. I think I know who wrote this. <laughs> but ma'am, leaving him. What if you love him but like he has ugly feet? Huh. The next one is um I wanted to go on a wine tasting and he told me there's no need because it was expensive so he suggested that we uh, that we just buy wine and have it at home please bear in mind that uh, bear in mind that it was 250 per person you are a how's that for the 250 bro when tasting at 250 would it make scat would it book you guys continue never want to have fun and watch you enjoy i'm not saying go for money but like hence i always tell people go into a relationship when you have money when you are like financially stable i know relationships are not about money but relationships require money like how would you go on dates how would you just like going to your person is money already that's money and then now i'm suggesting we go on a wine tasting once in a while you tell me you can afford 250 for a wine tasting you tell me to buy it and stay in the house with you sorry must be drugs. <laughs> like hotel drugs got afford a two fifty bro. Like maybe I can give a say if you don't have money. You should have just like suggested that uh let's pay for our own like entrances. Pay for your for your own two fifty. I'll pay my own two fifty. Not tell me that it's expensive and we should buy wine and stay home. Never that never that child <laughs> yo i'd be so mad i'd be so mad i'd ma'am like when it's not even petty that's just like the bare minimum in a relationship bro bare fucking mini minima 
Nancy K. A bad accent. <laughs> That's like the bare minimum, bro. Mm -mm. And no way. Um, the next one is Haibo uh, Baby Girl was chatting with someone that doesn't like me. That's not your friend. That's not a friend. Like, how do you do that, guys? Like, yo, guys, in the nutshell, I. Hi. Like, one thing about me, I am so loyal to the point where, like, not that Kikenadi beef is about, but like, there's no way on this earth I would be friends with someone who doesn't like my friend or actually have a relationship with those, like, with the person. Like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, why do you talk to somebody that doesn't like me? What are you guys talking about? Because, Kelly, I am close to you. And that person doesn't like me. What are you guys talking about? Question mark. Like, ma'am. Like, yo, Lena, guys, I want to listen to Like, they get to me so much. Because, oh, like, my own friend, my own friend entertaining other people that like what's on god thing and no way my boy like sis i'm glad you chose yourself and like friendship breakups are so bad they are bad but like mentally in jay who are fucked up as we need because that's the person you trust that's the person like you share everything with and i feel like when they are so i'm sure because like dude now you can't even be open with your friend because you think you need to know what if you can't even be open with your friend anymore because of such things like guys no that's a no for me like no Yo, that's the breaking point. The last one is um <laughs> ah, Joan. I see that D wasn't good enough to be styling on me. We actually have to have a conversation about this guys. Like in the comment section, please tell me would you leave somebody? If they not sorry, if they not like good enough, be or if they have, you know, that the looking and thing, would you leave them or you would you stay and like work on it? Tell them go to baby like, please let's try this, let's do this, let's do that, because people can actually improve, guys. Like you can teach somebody and they would get it. But if obviously if like they're not getting it and you've had a conversation about it then that's when you would bounce you can bounce i hope you did that first ma'am because mm -mm. <laughs> uh, banyana anyway guys thank you so much for watching my video i hope that you enjoyed and please don't forget to like share and subscribe come to the gang family what are you waiting for why are you watching but you're not subscribed clearly you love me but like don't be a hater support your girl <laughs> i'm kidding guys please 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 subscribe and i hope that you enjoy my videos I will try to be consistent. Ooh, consistent. Hey, <laughs> try to be consistent as I can. And I hope you love my content because I love you. <laughs> oh, anyway, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Like, it's not easy. Like, it's not easy. It's never easy. But things that you love, and if you want to get to your end goal, you know it's never easy you have to go through some things in order to be perfect so but the fact that you're still here you're still watching you're still listening it means i'm doing something good <laughs> anyway thank you guys thank you thank you
Goodbye.